There's an old saying, it's better to beg forgiveness than ask permission. Well, a Cosa Nostra does neither. That's why Patrick Beck David knew the story of La Cosa Nostra had to be told. What is Cosa Nostra to you and does it still have the same meaning today as it did back in the 80s? He knew there were only three men alive who could do the story justice. Cosa Nostra is an evil life. We built cities. New York, Chicago, Vegas. They infiltrated our politics, they infiltrated our businesses, they infiltrated the church. Betrayal happens all the time. Is that inevitable? It happens all the time. For the first time anywhere, you will see a sit down between two made men. Not just soldiers in the mob. You're not me, you, you can't sit down with me. But real bosses. You're not the underboss anymore, my friend. And the man that brought it all crashing down. There are a few people that are genetically, inherently bad. There were bodies flying all over the place. They found Joe Blow in a trunk. 45, 50 dead bodies all over River Brook. Wow. Don't point your finger at me. Oh, what are you going to do? What am I going to do? I'll break your yeah, face. They always say a lot of these mafia guys could have really accomplished a lot if they'd only gone straight. That's half true. This is the real La Cosa Nostra.